Hello, welcome to Most Sport for race number three of the NRSL Universal Orlando Cup Series Season 2. And it's going to be an exciting one here. If you saw the Outback race here, you're going to know how crazy it's going to be. And this time, the Cup drivers take over. We had a co-commentator last race and we're, er, for the Outback race, and now we're going to have a co-commentator for this race. Join me for this one. is McKinley Man 93 a.k.a. Michael Norman. How you doing? I am doing fantastic. Oh, wait, that's not my voice. Um, well, anyways... Uh, and uh, I'm green here. And it should be fine. Stupid clownfish. Eh. Everything's fine. No. Everything great. Three frames per second. That's how it goes. Let's go. All right. Anyway, on the pole, we got Michael Hegdahl. Second is Ashley Willis. Third, Ian Duda. Fourth, Devin Becker. Fifth will be Angel Navarro on the special Canadian Tire cars. So we'll see how that car will do. Sixth will be Cole Daly. Seventh is John McNamara. Eighth is Alex May. Ninth is James Silverfox. And completing the top ten is Annie Thomas. And we'll take you through our the rest of our starting lineup. And here we go. That's a look at your starting lineup as they just already gave the command. So, we're going to be here for 16 laps just like the Outback boys. And um, this time here, we're just going to make sure all hell doesn't break loose. So, Michael. Yeah. Looking forward to this race. Y'all ready? Heck, yeah. I've done races here at Canadian Tire uh, Motorsports Park, also known as Mo Sports, But... It was an exciting race. The turn that they're in right now is really one of the ones that you've got to look out for because coming out of this turn, cars can get into each other and cause them to go sliding off straight into the gravel trap and into that tire wall right there that you see. Yeah. But as we're coming to the green flag, this is going to be interesting. So let's see who can get this done. Remember, guys, there are no cautions in this race coming off the final corner. Here we go. Green flag is out. I do want to mention those three corners that we just went through. Those have been a lot of problems with the Outback guys have had a lot of trouble with. However, these cars are a lot different than the Nationwide cars, so we'll see how they'll do. As the Ashley 55 got the lead. A, she got a tremendous start, was able to clear uh, the 27 before entering turn one. Here comes so, Devin Becker for second. Devin Becker ended up uh, in the top five in the Outback series, so if he actually gets a top five here, this would be huge for him. He probably would have the best weekend probably out of anyone, is Michael Hegdahl will retake the second position, or at least try to. Ian Duda is right behind him in a brand new scheme. Let's take a look in the back. Is a lot of things can happen in the back. Oh, already. I think we already yeah, a little, had one. Yeah, a little separation back here already. Daniel Day, Will Goss, Zach Buchanan, and uh, Luis Hernandez all in the back there for some reason. But we got to keep an eye on this turn because another issue is this, these two turns because that causes a lot of issues. Cars like to slide up into there and or especially into this hard right-hander here, as Anthony McCurry just did it. Uh, a lot of these cars are sliding off. It's, it's just a really tight corner. If you carry too much speed, that'll happen. Oh, there goes Hart. Oh. Same with the 17, and I believe that's a 34. Yeah, that's a 34, Boston the plant. 17, that's um Kyle Thomas. Oh, boy, and now it's creating a huge separation. It blocked up the field. And I yep, believe he's stuck out, on the grass. I don't think he gets damaged, but he got stuck. Gonna oh, car around again. Oh, that's um. Trying to find out who that is. That's um. Uh, that's a target car. It's not Hernandez. That's um. I think that's Poteet. Yeah, that's still in Poteet there in the seventy-eight. That's not good. I'll tell you one thing, new Tweenix having a really rough start the past two races really start out in the back, and they're not doing really well at all. Stuff well, you gotta look out finish. for. The only one I know that's actually doing decent is Alex May in the 51 as, where is he at? Ninth. He is ninth place. Oh, he's ninth place. Wow. That's good for Alex May there. Here's uh, Angel Navarro. Whoops, wrong way. There we go. Angel Navarro in the Canadian Tire Chevrolet for RCR. 
special paint scheme that's on here. And I'll tell you one thing, good thing he's running for this race. This is, uh, I bet, a big thing for him. Yeah. And, oh, he's leaning on the 38, and he actually is going to let him go. But that's not the line where you want to be, especially coming into the east turns here. It's on this turn, but not these next two right-handers. No, not at all, especially when you get these. This really tight turn again. Tell you something, <sighs> Old Alley having a really good race right now. He's He is the points leader, by the way, and he's already showing why he deserves to be one, too. This is yeah, the 88 car. Here. Amazing enough, though, some of the cup guys here are actually caught up to the main front pack. They, a, yeah. a lot of people. The, the farthest one I see in the back, I believe, uh, if I can get to him, I believe that's uh, Anthony McCurry there. I believe. Uh, yes, that is Anthony McCurry. How about the 24, Ryan Richards? Bottom of the points. I think he's dead last in the points. Yeah, he's dead last in the points driving a special 2000 Peanuts car onto the Gen 6 one. We'll see how he'll do as he's having a great run. Oh, boy. Uh -oh, what's yeah, going so you got to watch Thomas? out. I uh, guess you took the turn wrong there. Yep, got to watch out. And this is a track where you really got to keep an eye on the whole field. It's not like where you got to keep an eye on just one part. There's Hart in the back and Pote. You see, because a lot of stuff happens towards the back, too. So you got to really keep an eye on it, too. There's uh, Daniel Voyles, the Daytona 500 winner, fifth in points. As he got around Will Goss driving the new Nesquik Chevrolet. There's Daniel Day. He's having a little rough rough um, series so far. First two races hasn't been for him, but so far he's just trying to avoid the wrecks. That's all you got to do here. Just avoid the wrecks and you'll do good. John Cedillo back in the Expedex car. As he's trying to get around Brian James in the 43 Farmland Ford. As he's trying to, and can't get it done. Uh-uh, I don't think he will. Because actually, I just realized, I think there may have been a wreck before, too. He probably didn't notice. It might have been. There's a, there seems to be, like, a couple cars with damage to the rear end. Yeah, there's Eugene and Max in the 12. He's got damage on the front end. That's a tough break right there for the Penske Ford Fusion. Uh, he looked kind of clean to me. Yeah, not as much jumping, and uh, you want to know something here. How about um, Trent Dunham in the one, as you're going to see him going by there. There he is. Trent Dunham driving the special Steve Park 2000 car. As I'm on the wrong car. There we go. He's driving the retro 2001 Steve Park Pennzoil Chevrolet um, SS, which looks amazing. And, um, you know, I talked to Trent after um, Daytona. I said... You know, Trent, what's it going to be looking forward to now that Daytona's out of the way? He's trying to make sure that we can just be consistent throughout the rest of the season. So far, right now, he's um, 19th, so he's in the top 20, but not bad. But right now, all he's going to do is avoid the wrecks, especially in this big pack up here. Heck yeah. I'll tell you one thing, though. How about Clint Spillman? This is actually his first ever series he's been in. He's actually having a di an impressive, not bad um, two races he had earlier. He's right now 12th in this race. He's doing a hell of a job. But the main one to keep an eye on out of both series of ours has got to be Nick Smith, who's driving the 5 in the Nationwide. He's having a hell of a series, and he's in the top 5. This is only his first ever series, too, so give the young man some credit. Yeah. How about front row? Anthony Ritchie in the 38 M&M's Ford. Yes, that's an M&M's right there, and that's a Robert Yates car, but it's a front, front row, I should say. Anthony Ritchie there, him and uh, Austin LaPlante came close to winning at uh, Daytona. But Phoenix came, and, well, Reese didn't have a good one, or, and neither did um, Austin LaPlante. So hopefully those two can avenge it. And Oh! Dollar oh, thing. and speaking of that, they just get their 38 just takes out the 16 right there. Oh, and now they're trying to get out, and Ritchie's going to get out, but Dollarton's going to get stuck in the sand pit. It's kind of an interesting way to get out of a sand pit. I don't know why, but those cars like to do it that way. And uh, ironically, now front row is together 24th and 25th. Let's get back up to the, um, the lead pack here. There's our previous oh. race winner in this pack, James Qualls, in that Red Home Depot car. That's just a product. That was just a product of close racing on a tight track. Yeah, that's just how it is. You can definitely agree on that. As Qualls is all over John McNamara. Oh, boy. Got a little squirrely right there. And, oh, McNamara, I think he was trying to let him know, saying, I didn't like what you did there. Qualls won at um, Phoenix on a on a caution race, but amazing enough, though, Qualls 
who had a dominant day, didn't have to deal with a lot of people throughout the race, but, you know, Qualtrin looks, make sure he looks for more. How about Ian Dutta? Hopefully I'm saying the name correctly. I kept calling him Duda. I apologize. It's Ian Dutta. I don't know why, but Ian is uh, fifth on the track right now, trying to pass Michael Hegdell. But uh, I bet Michael right now is feeling pretty happy that his girlfriend, Ashley Wells, is leading. And to see that second place, they're balanced. So that's a good thing that you see him. Speaking of Becker, I'll tell you something. Um, yeah, and I was correct on that. He did finish um, in the top five. I think he finished third. Oh, oh, Becker into the wall. Dally, the points leader, also there. And now... And now they'll both pretty much get stuck as they have to do this awesome trying to like a back back. Uh, Becker's got out, but I don't think Dally is. That's going to be big for second in the points, which um, I'm trying to remember on my, on my list here who was second in the points. As I'm looking, that's Anthony McCurry. So where's McCurry right now? There he is. He's got to be at least seven positions ahead to take the points lead, and McCurry at, at least more after than seven that, positions. So. Yeah, say so after that, he pretty much is. That's pretty much big for the Audi. This is the only Audi in this field, and McCurry's actually having a really good run. He's trying to show Audi's strong ship in the NRSL, and this is the first time NRSL's had Audi, too, and he's doing great. Uh, if I could do a cheap plug for a second, Audi's been getting around in a lot of NR series, so... We'll have to see exactly how far uh, McCurry wants to take this. Absolutely. Right now, he is ninth on the track, and, man, he's just having a really good run. I would not and be McCurry, surprised, though, later in the season that he tries to go for the championship. And McCurry has a friend behind him as well. Uh-oh. And what happened to Young? He's on, he, went, he left pit road. I don't know what happened to the Blue Deuce and the Abyss Ford Fusion. Probably got off the track at somewhere and had to come in to get repairs or something probably that's an odd thing he's lapped down too let's double check if um if anyone's out of the race oh the 19 of silver fox is out how do you get out of the race yeah probably got turned into a wall oh that's oh, trying down him as i was just about ready to see who else was dunham goes around by someone to max and becker go around him as well as here comes a uh, front row and Lu Luis Hernandez. Ironically, how all three of them are working together there. <clears throat> Dawson well, one lap down. Young is now Trent's one now. lap down. And, um, oh, we had another wreck. It was Young again. Man, the two car in this race is just struggling, and he's just trying to get the speed. Just can't get it. I think he's just trying to log laps as much as he can. Yeah, and Dally's 38th. I don't know if he's still on pit road or not, but... Man, that is weird. It says also Kyle bit. Thomas is out of the race, so it's not good for the Roush team. As look at this, Hegdahl and, and uh, Ashley Wells, one and two. I bet that's what Michael Hegdahl would love to see. Let's double check. Yeah, Dally is still in pit road. This is big for Anthony McCurry. Hearts without a Yeah, heart. but Michael's probably also thinking that he wants to get up there and beat his girlfriend as well. Absolutely, too. I definitely can agree with that. Look at D Dustin Rain, the 39. He's had a miserable um, first two races as well. He's 34. The 43 has oh. some side damage. He must have, he, he just, there was a donut on the side of his car. Yeah, there's Michael Norman uh, and Jack Richards battling for a spot. Oh, Richards, what are you doing there? There's Seth. He's actually falling back behind. He's um he's gaining the spots, though, as the people are wrecking. So that's good for the 52 team there. And tell you something, all the Tweenix, they just, they're struggling right now. All in the bottom of the points. Poteet's in the bottom, Seth is in the bottom, Alex Mays in the bottom, and Devin Becker's pitting. Wasn't he just up in the front? Well, he was 18. Yeah. What's he doing pitting? I mean, the time you wouldn't have to pit was like lap 9 or something, or lap 10. But Strategy, probably. Maybe the fuel window is different. Let's take a look. There's Dougie Shears driving the Avenged Sevenfold American car. Doing pretty good there. Anthony Emmerich, 13th. How about Ryan Richards? Dead last in the points. He is now 15th. This is really going to help him out. Oh, yeah. Definitely what he needs there. Here's um, Chris Washer trying to get around Anthony Emery on the high, high line, I believe that is. Or I should say left side. I mean, there's a left side and right side, but it don't matter. It's still the same thing as Hendrick teammates are battling there. Whoa, Emery. 
I don't like how this is going, how they're all, you know, in between each other. I don't like where Emery's at. Oh, dear me. Emery, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, he dodged the bullet. Oh, as he went on the grass there, and Dougie Shears just got the spot. Oh, car slow. It's Navarro. And you that's the sponsored race car. Uh, 33 has a lot of damage on the front. Something happened. He must have got clipped from someone. He just bashed the wall, but, man, he is not up to speed, too. That car looks like it's all fucked up. Let's try to jump back to the front. Shelton's actually having a good run outside the top five. Or Actually, he's in, she's in the top ten. What the hell am I saying? McCurry, he's seventh. McNamara's fifth. He's having a really good run. Spillman's uh, sixth. Looking through here. Hegdahl still trying to catch up to Ashley Willis. And uh, I'll tell you one thing. Willis is really loving this car. Oh, someone must have bashed that wall there. Because there's a good screech mark right there. It's actually, they're approaching Cold Alley. Ashley Willis is approaching Cold Alley here. Man, Cold Alley just having a miserable day. Will Goss is pitting. Brian James is pitting. Alvin Calignaro's got damage. Uh, damage. Wow. I'm damage. <laughs> damage. Damage. I know. What, what, I'm you, still what, what are you, British? It's not it's not stuttering, it's that you just sounded British right there. I know. Nella Hart has no hood. Yeah. And Cody Lamas, man. This guy can't catch a break in this series. He was the runner up last season. Right now he's just doing miserable. Oh, Navarro now driving like an idiot. He's riding on the grass. No, he's doing that on purpose so he doesn't wreck anybody. He's trying to get out of the way of cars that when they're trying to come through. I don't know about right now though. He's still riding on the grass. Maybe, or maybe he just likes riding in the grass. You don't know that. Maybe he's like mowing the lawn or something. As he's man, he's going really slow. Well, this is a slow corner, and he's kind of on the grass there. Maybe he doesn't want to wreck his car out of here. He doesn't want to wreck his car any further. He's just trying to limp it back to pit road. As they got Alex, oh Alex May in the back. I think he had a pit where he got stuck in the sand trap. Man, just what is going on with Tweenix? Oh, as they, they approach Michael Hagdahl, where's Willis? Where's, uh, where's Ashley Willis? Don't tell me she wrecked. Probably on pit her. road. Oh, she pitted. That, see, I told you. That scared me for a moment, too, because I thought she, um, she, uh, got hit by someone. Or, I don't know. That scared me. As, um... We're going to try to cycle through the front of the field quickly. Hey, the Cleveland show's on. Wait, what? <laughs> I said the Cleveland show's on. Oh, nobody cares about that. <laughs> anyway, as um, Alex May and Cole Daly are there, and Will Goss is also in the back. Hey, Dylan, you want to go get some Annie Fox Late Model Series fries? Maybe. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll go, st I'll go step out and grab some. Okay, while well, Michael is going to run out and get some uh, fries, I'll just keep going here. As Michael Hegdahl is... Um, Leading over Ian Dutta and James Qualls. I would be very surprised that Qualls wins two in a row here. That would be a huge surprise. But um, I'm trying to remember who won the Outback. Um, I can't think who won Outback. Seth is pitting. There's Navarro. He's finally on pit road, so that's a good thing there. As I can't believe I can't remember. Oh, the 11's got damage. Charles Jackson's got damage. I don't know what happened. What the fuck, nigga? <laughs> no, anyway, I'm, I'm back. From, here, back here, here's the here's your fries, Ashley Dylan. Wilson. Car trying to get around is the 18 of Michael Norman. Here's car. your fries, Dylan. Oh, thank you. Well, as I'm uh, munching on the fries here. Whoa, look at the run Willis got. Well, holy shit. <clears throat> Sorry, I shouldn't talk on my mouthful. But, uh, I know. As you see, it looks like the 18's coming to pit road. And indeed he is, as well as Zach Buchanan. So different pit strategy people are doing. Luis Hernandez is already open. Buchanan just derped. Four cars just ran over his pit crew. Actually like a what lot the of fuck? cars actually pitted. Yeah, now everyone's it's going to cycle back around. The 55 is Maybe, probably going to get the Hegel lead now. actually got in front. Oh, yep. Willis is going to do it. Willis did pretty good pit strategy there. And look who's moved into third. That's James Qualls. That was the previous race winner. Heck yeah. 
Ian Dead a fourth. Anthony McCurry fifth. A car that's going really fast. That's um Dollar to me. He's a lap down. Spillman's in sixth. Seventh is McNamara. Eighth is uh Chris Washer. Ninth is Anthony Emery. And tenth, how about Jessica Shelton? Great run for her. Yeah. Big pickup for that rookie. Absolutely. And Ryan Richards fell back to about about the top fifteen, somewhere around there. Man, there's Devin Becker. He really fell back hard. What in the world? Let's take an update on the people who are out of the race. Oh, it says Navarro did retire. Young is out of the race. Dally's one lap down. As John Sedino retired. What happened to the 72? Wheels behind. Kevin Yarrow's a lap down. Oh, McNamara's around. Oh, yeah, he's and he's back he's backed in against the wall over he there. Is possibly gonna be, you know, stuck there and get towed. Um, as I was saying, Dollar Tim's lap down. Now he's lap down. There's, um, well, gosh, we're going to try to find him. Actually, oh, they're saying now the 15 is in a lap down. He's on the lead lap. Where is he at? But it's all the 55 right now. Yeah, well, there's Kevin Yarrow right there. There's Will Goss. See, this is why I'm saying you got to look at the whole field because you never know what could happen, but. You know, we got a lot of replays to take a look in this race. Yeah. That's, oh, boy. Look at this pack. I don't like this one bit. Oh, boy. Oh, Annie Thomas. Anthony Ritchie. There goes Ritchie, and he's in the infield or outside of the track. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Hello. Oh, he's done now. He just slammed right into the fence. Surprise how the fence didn't get mowed down, but... Hey, little, that that freaking ambulance did. I know. The crowd can't believe what they're seeing that Richie did. Oh, boy. In the meantime, because of that, there's Dollarton pitting again, by the way. Dollarton having a rough day. Oh, uh, we got about five to go. Yeah, we're, six, about ready to six, end, we're about ready to enter five to go next time by, and I'll tell you something. McCurry will definitely be the new points leader after this race. I can guarantee you that. Ashley Willis is going to have... You know, ten bonus points, five for leading the a lap, and an extra go five back, for leading the most. Go back to that to that race for uh, between McCurry and Shelton. We're gonna see who uh, who who can come out of it with this. Hey, up, but Shelton's got that advantage over McCurry, and she's gonna take the spot. I'll tell you one thing she about might Shelton. Try to I go to talk to her a little bit before the, before this race. You know, she does have road course experience a little bit, but she's trying to show what she can do in her you know Fame Twenty Nine ride, and she's. Showing it right now. Doing really, really good. How about Anthony Emery, last season's champion? Driving the Jimmy Johnson car? Well, he's showing what he can do. He's having a hell of a performance. Last time recording. He's leading this position. pack right now. Yeah, absolutely. She, he's having a really good day right now. Even though he's seconds behind, it's still consistency. So it's really, really good for him. Dougie Shears is all over the back bumper of him. And man, he is getting really close to that bumper. He is trying to to bump him out of the way. Yeah, you don't want to pull on Anthony Ritchie on that moment. Oh, here comes Shelton. Yeah, Shelton's coming low, but it looks like the the left side is going to take the advantage over the right in this turn. I don't know why, but... Oh, then again, Shelton. Actually, she's in a very good preferred line because you want to be on the right side of the track, but she couldn't get Dougie Shears. And now under fire from uh, Anthony McCurry once again. This is really good battling going on over here. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. This is pretty. This is a pretty intense battle, especially coming in here. Well, twenty one was able to clear Shelton right there. Yeah, so. and I'll tell you something too. Ironically, I know I just re realized about the NRSL. Last time they had a road course going on, in the NRSL was back in season uh, number one of the Outback Series when they had Watkins Glen at race eighteen, and then Chase Race number three at Infineon. Infineon or Sonoma, and that was the last time we were at a road course. And Emery, whoa! Yeah, that was, that was talk about a, talk about a run. But yeah, that was the last time Emery sells on a road course, and this is the first time we're back in a road course. So good to be back in a road course, especially at this track. And now Sheldon realized the advantage she can take, and she's now going to go underneath Anthony Emery. Yeah, you got a couple corners in her favor coming up. On that inside line, so... Check there. Hagdahl and Qualls, they're trying to catch up over Ashley Willis. They can't, but, man, this is really Coming good to four laps to go. Here as Jessica Sheldon took over Anthony Emery's spot. Well, now, 
Speaking of that, as I'm going the wrong way, there we go. Anthony, or er, wow. Now Anthony Emery under fire from Anthony McCurry to battle the Anthonys. I was going to say the Anthonys. Oh, McCurry had to slow up a little bit to make that corner. Yeah, on that corner there, the left side gets a good advantage instead of the right side. But McCurry's going to have a good call trying to get in there. Ah, I can't finish it. But Ant Thomas now going underneath the 12th of Eugene DeMax, or at least is trying. And I'll tell you something, Eugene DeMax, a little bit of a rough day. He went around that earlier on. He's now in the 10th position. Unbelievable run he's had him. You want to talk about unbelievable run? Look at the look, look at the uh, the distance between first and second right now. Yeah, at least six seconds away. Um, Hagdahl, I know he's wishing to catch up to her, but I'll tell you something though. Great run by both of them. I'll tell you something though. He's Walls under really wants that second position badly, but he just can't get around him. And now Qualls right, here he goes now using the very good preferred line, the right side. See, look how far away they are. The only thing yeah. that, could, that the 55 can't win is if there's a mechanical problem or something like that to happen. I mean, there's strange things that's happened in the NRSL before, but, I mean, there's stranger things that's happened, even stranger than Richie going off the track. As Qualls is going to take the second spot away. <laughs> and if Qualls actually really comes back on the 55, then that would be an incredible, incredible, you know, run for James Qualls. Let's look at the uh, fastest lap who that would be. That would be the 14 at the time before he got the damage of uh, Daniel Day. And then, looking like it, Qualls is fourth fastest. And look at Ashley Willis. Not even the fastest in the top 10. Unbelievable. You'd have to go all the way to 23rd. That's unbelievable. Damn. Damn. Oh, Carpet Road. Who's that? Looked like is one that, of the front runners, oh, that's possibly. Still. Okay, why is he back on pit road? And McCurry fell back. Wow, what happened to him? I think Michael's now going to go back for more fries, right? No? Good. Three laps to go. Let's take um, one last look at the back of the field. There's Will Goss. Man, he is having a miserable day there, but... The good thing only that he got was the people that kept wrecking there, and he got the spots. Anthony Ritchie there, he's 33rd. He's having a struggling day. Kevin Yarrow is yeah. 32nd. Cole Daly's 35th a lap down. He's having a miserable day. Oh, man, those screech marks there. Someone must have busted the wall there. Chris Dollarton a lap down. There is Noah Hart without a hood. Seth in 30th. Charles Jackson, 29th. Alex May, 28th. Er, Austin LaPlante is 24th. Well, at the time, and he's on the grass. Alex May was 28th at the time. Well, now LaPlante, what in the hell is he doing? Look at the damage on him, though. Yeah, that's Car must be really hard to handle. Fusion there. Having a really rough run there. And he's got to get off the grass. He's pulling off what Angel Navarro did. Well, he's got... He's probably getting out of everyone's way again. Something's probably a miss with the car. He's... He's trying to limp it back to pit road without wrecking anybody. Yeah, he is having a really rough day, and this day is going from bad to worse. Look out on the banking he's even. Man, awesome. The plant just... I mean, he's struggling. Two laps to go as we're getting that notification. At least uh, five... Oh, actually, Hegdahl and Qualls have caught up to um, Ashley Willis from what we're hearing. Well, Willis got around... Uh, Will Goss, which actually held her up a little bit. But the more Hegdahl and Qualls bow for position, that's good for Ashley Willis. She'll just continue to pull away, especially when they're catching up to uh, that guy right there. But Qualls is going to keep that second position. I'll tell you something, though. Willis having a huge run. Oh, geez, I thought the 34 went around. So taking a final look through the back, Devin Becker. Great nationwide race. He's going to have a disappointing um, cup race as he's 26. Well, it was. Hernandez on pit road. Richards on pit road. And Eugene DeMax was on pit road. What happened to him? He was in the top 15. Michael Norman pitted. I got da uh, Looks like he has damage, too. The 18 does. Yeah, he's got a lot of left side damage. Something must have happened. We'll take a look at all the replays at the end of the race there. But, um... Man, a lot to explain, especially with Poteet. And uh, is that who I'm seeing that's right there in 16th? D 
Daniel Day, the first car we got around, he is 16th. No damage either. That is unbelievable there. As we're getting ready soon to approach the white flag, Richards moved up to 11th. Man, this guy really having a really, really good day, and this is what he needed. 10th is McCurry. No matter what, he's definitely going to be the points leader by at least 20. As look at this, this whole pack from second on there got around Will Goss, second to fifth, but it doesn't matter anyway. Ashley Willis coming to the final turn is going to get the white flag waving. Ashley Willis needs the timer ti timer turns perfectly in order to win the race. As you see there, oops, as I'm going the wrong way, stupid. No! Stop going the wrong way. Why? Hey ben, you better fire that camera guy. I know. There we go. As we're trying to get the second place, Hagdahl, Duda, Qualls, and Spillman are all together. Dada. 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 Damn it, I did it. My bad, Ian. Ian Dada is in third. There we go. As they're all trying to catch up, but they're in a four-car train, and I doubt they're going to catch up to Willis, as Willis is actually trying to coast a little bit. So, interesting how Willis is racing, but she is racing She's the wheels off that 55 car. She's picked her lead back up. Yeah, as noticed too, it really, really increased her lead. And these guys are really somewhat trying to catch up, but I don't think there's going to be enough time. Qualls moves Dutta out of the way. Oh, and Dutta goes around a little bit, but he saves his car, and that's going to ruin his third place finish. Dutta had that had that run, was trying to go for it, cut him off, and got got clipped in the side and got his car loose. And he was able to save it though. Yeah, it looked like Qualls got him there. But it doesn't matter as they're approaching the final turn. Hagdahl's got to be happy what he's seeing. His girlfriend in the lead. Him in second. I don't think he cares if it was him or her in the lead or not. Or in second. But here we go. Coming off the final three turns. This is the dangerous three turns in this race. Here we go. She's got timer marks perfect. She's going to do it in this one. And coming off the final turn right now. Ashley Wills is going to make herself proud as another rookie will win as she wins at most sport. And Michael Hagdahl will be proud as he finishes second 1-2 for the Hagdahl family. Qualls in third, Spillman fourth. Dutta will still finish fifth. A great job for him. Look at Annie Thomas sixth. Jessica Shelton seventh. Dougie Shears eighth. Ninth, Anthony McCurry. So he will definitely be the points leader by many points. And 10th is Ryan Richards. Holy cow. Dead last in the points is going to move up a lot of positions. Is Alex Mays on pit road. There's Michael on pit road again and Will Goss. Take a look at some. Damn. Numbers. A bunch of people on pit road and stuff. Man, some drivers have been really good needing runs. And some drivers really having a tough break. But race is over. I already mentioned top 10. Let's take a look at some of the cautions that, or, well, not the cautions, fail. The wrecks that took place during the race. Well, we're looking at Daniel Day here, and uh, this is the first wreck that happened. And then the next one we're going to look at is Brian James, because this happened right away. Zach Buchanan and Daniel Day, two good buddies. Buchanan just gets a little too close in that corner panel, and he's just going to clip him right there, just easy and simple. And the, amazing enough, though, the Home Depot car actually did take a hit, and there's the hit he took. It did, wasn't as much, but still managed to get away with the top 15. And there's what happened to Brian James right there. You just see it right there. That was Hernandez that clipped him. Amazing enough, though, he only did a slight tap, and he kept going. So amazing job by Brian James. Oh, he actually did a slide right there. Is my dog sparking in the background? Yeah. Now, I want to see what happened to Young. I want to know what happened to him and Citadino because they were in separate wrecks that happened. Well, there's that wreck. We already, we already showed you that wreck there. Let's go to Young here. Because I believe he was one of those guys that got involved and Citadino plowed. Oh, wait. What happened behind? What was 56 that went off the track. Oh, that was the 56. Wow, he really just derped it. Just look at the view from the two's view. That 56 really took the turn wrong. Wow, he didn't even take the turn right at all. 
Okay, that's what happened on that wreck. Rookie mistakes. Yeah, rookie mistake by Brad Johnson. As um, sorry for my dog barking the, or howling in the background. What happened to Young and Citadino? That's the one thing I want to know because Citadino's back there as well. And his here's Young. We're trying to find out what happened because we we don't even know what happened to them. I hope they didn't wreck on the um the dangerous three corners. I hope they didn't. Well, not in this lap. As I'm sorry, we're um, having a little struggle trying to find this, folks. We're just trying to make sure we know what happened. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, the 11 got spun by the 99. Yeah, that was an odd wreck that happened. Let's see. Yeah, just basically right here. They just got too close to each other, and that's classic at most port. And just, wow. Amazing enough, though, Charleston didn't hit the wall, but... Lamas turned him, and he got held up because of it, and then, oh, wow. Oh, and Young actually got a piece of it. That's why oh, Young got the damage. And that's probably when he went to pit road was because of that, too. Cittadino, I, I don't know what happened to him. This... We're going to look at Cittadino, and then we're going to take a, another look at a caution here. Wow, Young went really off the track there. Because I know there, were a few, there was a wreck that happened... Before the big turn that you saw there during the race. Oh, Sedino got James. Well, that's what happened to James. And James got involved in two wrecks there. And then there was a car in the, in the sand. I saw that one. What happened to Sedino? Because it said he retired from an accident and... I don't know what it was, though. As we're looking through here... Oh, wait a minute. I just want to see real quickly. What happened on this turn here? I just want to go to none. If it will let me go to none. And just take a look from here, because... There was a wreck around this area. Oh, that was Young! What, what happened to Young? As, wow, I'm struggling to get to the cars here. Damn it. Dang, you man, this guy just needs to get fired. I know. <laughs> oh, it looks like Jessica. It may have been Jessica. Well, it, this is like a five-car train that happened here, and it went to two. Then judging from what happened, oh, Annie Thomas was also there on Jessica. So really, Jessica had no choice. They really just bunched into each other. Amazingly, he's still going 70 miles an hour. Oh, no, this is not going to be the 90, a place. That's also where the 93 at. car went off the track. Amazing enough, he slides over, and he actually takes a tiny tap. So, surprise, surprise what happens there. So, we'll take a look at a separate incident. What happened with uh, John Sandino? Well, we found out what happened to John Sandino, and um, I think me and Michael are going to be surprised what happens. Because, uh, I don't know, Michael, you could tell me what happened. Well, Dylan Young gets a little impatient with John Cittadino, tries to pass him, sees a little bit of an opportunity. Cittadino starts trying to close the door. Dylan says, hey, I'm here. And they both turn and they go straight towards an ambulance. And look at the hit that both are going to take right here. Oh, my God. Someone better move that ambulance out of the way. Right as Trent going to pit road. Yeah, let's take another look from the um, helicopter here, because this is downright strange. I mean, wow. I mean, Young was just trying to get around, and Citadino just... Oh, my God. Look, at both take another hit, and then this is the dagger. Bam! My God, I didn't even know that happened to Young. No. It's amazing what happens on a road course. I know, it's crazy. Um, let's check out what happened to Navarro and Trent Dunham. Well, this is what happened to a lap earlier. The same thing that happened except a little bit up to a fronter pack. Alex May and Angel Navarro. Navarro was trying to turn Alex May and... Oh boy, this is not going to be good. May's going to bounce off the wall, but Navarro tried to get out of there and... Well, he's going to derp it. And Alex May, you, you got to check this out. 
May amazingly goes partly outside the track, and Navarro plows into that corner of the wall. And that's what happened to him. But look at Alex May. He is outside the track again. That's like the second car that's done that. Richie did it earlier, and he plowed it. Let's just double check here. Did he, um... Did he, like, go into the fence? All right. I think he was trying to get out. And... No, he did He gave up. He gave up. Oh, <laughs> he tried, no. he tried to get back on the track and gave up. Tape and uh, reconsider. Um, that was what happened to him. That's an odd thing, and, um... Let's see. Who are we trying to go to next? Yeah, we got to go to Trent Dunham. Um, well, we well, saw what happened to Trent. We saw that he got spun about. He got spun about. Yeah, but, but I wonder who did it though, because I just want to double check who did. It might have been Cedadino. It may. Oh have wait, been. I forgot. He got taken out. Oh no, this was this was that lap yeah. that young and Cedadino got him. Wow, and I thought you were the only one failing today. I know. Huh? There's that wreck. Well, Trent pitted, and then as we're accelerating, we're just trying to double check what happened to Trent because this is odd. We just randomly seen it off the top of the corner of our eye, so it may happen lap twelve or something. Just want to double check. It's funny how they're going like this fast too on the replay. Was it Washer? Uh, I hope not. It, it possibly may have been. Uh, I, I no, he got around him. No, not Washer. Oh, there's Becker. Oh, we got to see what happened to Becker. Becker and uh, LaPlante. Oops, I just had it. There we go. What happened to these two? I completely forgot Becker was in a wreck. Oh, okay. This was Ran into, it looks like. Well, I've seen this before in the Outback. Just the 34 overpowered on the left corner panel going right. And that that's what happened in the Outback race. Yeah, he just got it. He just he got right into him, and it sent the 34 car out right into the tire barriers, most likely. So 34 in the grass. Be amazingly enough, Becker made it through. And, yeah, LaPlante is going to get a little piece of the tire barrier. He didn't get as much, but... He's just going to get a little bit of it right there, and that's where a lot of the left-end damage came. But, wow, Becker, tough break for him. He was having a really good run, too, and, well, LaPlante just ruined that one. Now let's now let's double-check again on Trent, because I keep fucking up. There's so many incidents. I know. It's so many incidents. It's just like what happened in the Outback. I'm just trying to find it. And, you know, yes, I apologize, folks, for the many fails that we're trying to find, but... Where was it at? It still could have been Washer because it looks like he's trying to get back by him. Maybe. Lap 14. Oh. Where did it happen? Well, I know, I know where it happened, but when did it happen? Okay, there's no way it came this far, because... Let's check in the... Um, in the field. I can't find what happened to Trent. They'll probably... They'll probably see why, but... Um, uh, there was one more we wanted to find out what happened to, and... Uh, who was it? Um, what was it we were trying to find? Oh yeah, what's happened? To, let's see what happened to Charles, because I know he had a lot of damage towards the end of the race, and probably after that we're just gonna like, you know, do our thing towards the end. But you know, this is road course racing at its finest, right? Yeah, pretty much. Exactly. Oh jeez. I hope people come back and more and try to figure out the right way for Gen Six, because yeah, it's that good. Oh oh oh! I just noticed the two. I just noticed um. Oh, what the? Okay, this explains also what happened to uh, Kevin Yarrow and Seth and Buchanan. Take a look at this. All, all congested together, five of, five of, you know, five of them right here. And they were going three wide off this turn. That's not where you really want to do. No, not at all. And not this tight race track. Right there, it was 
Charles Jackson <clears throat> getting into Kevin Yarrow, and then Kevin Yarrow is actually sliding, is going to collect four of the five, or actually all, every one of them got involved except for Buchanan. Seth was just trying to get through, and he's going to get a tiny piece of the barrier right there. So he actually escaped a lot. There's Jack Richards also getting around him too. But there were a lot more incidents. I don't want to waste any more time and try to have a longer time to upload and all that. But, um, yeah, so let's get to the bottom of it right here. But, you know, I want to thank Michael Norman for um, having me having in the um, having him here in the co uh, co-commentary booth here. Heck yeah, man. You want to sub to his channel and watch his awesome series that just returned for Season 1 when Season 2 comes out. Oh boy, you know how that's gonna be. The link to his I might, channel I might will actually be put, in the description down below. And I might actually put signups out pretty soon, even though because I already have all of season one re recorded for two of my series, so I might just go ahead and put signups out and then just finish up the series after that. That's but who knows? From him. So, Michael, once again, thank you for having us here, and thank you for also getting the fries. Those were good. I know they were right. That's why I got them. All right. Thank Ryan right, well, for that, by the way. So once again. Hey. You've seen the top 10. Oh, actually, all the people were out of the race and lapped down, blah, blah, blah. The results will be at the end of the video. If you like this race, give it a like. Comment beneath to keep your ride. Uh, subscribe to be part of the, the NRSL page here. And um, like I said about Michael, the link will be in this channel here. And uh, if you want to know about um, more about the NRSL, about all that stuff, don't be afraid to contact me, contact Skype, Xbox, blah, blah, blah. You get the gist. But most sports over. Race number four will be at 8 full, and that will be exciting. And now... We leave Michael Norman's final words, which should be interesting. Okay. Uh, goodbye. Bye-bye, folks.